I appreciate the Lord tonight, don't you? Yes, I do. Ever since the first song from this afternoon or last night up until this point, yes, I do. Um, I, I've just felt the presence and the power of the Holy Ghost. I have felt the Lord. I have felt God be with us this weekend. And then Sister Eustache, when she began to speak about an angel that appeared to her, yeah. that to me is exciting yeah. because that allows to let me know that Jesus, Jesus is still in this place, yeah. that Jesus is still in the middle of us. Yeah. For him to send an angel to touch a yeah. sister yeah. lets me know that Jesus is yeah. here in the middle of us. Yeah. I appreciate him tonight. I thank him for what he's done. Aren't we a blessed people? Aren't we blessed for what God has done? I've listened all weekend last night from from brother Mark, brother Bivens. What a wonderful message, brother Bivens! An excellent yes, message. How yes. the Lord just blessed you and yes. brother Marlowe's message and and everybody that spoke last night about the coming of the Lord and how we're to get ready and and things are happening around us. That to me has been on my heart more in the last month than ever before about the coming of Jesus Christ. I see the world around me. I'm in the world. You're in the world. We walk among them. We're with them every day. The Bible tells us to be in the world, but not of the world. It tells us all of those things. Yes, we have to work there. We have to be there. We have to do those things. But it tells us that we don't have to partake in the things that they partake of. But if you look at those people and you watch those people, they're the most unhappy people in the the whole wide world. They're most un they, they, they try every day to find something that gives them happiness. They go from whatever, from this to that to give them happiness. They don't know what makes them happy. They think what makes them happy. One day they're happy, next day they're sad. They're searching and searching and searching and searching and searching and trying to find something to make them happy. Oh, but tonight we don't have to search. We have nothing to search for. We have a hope that lies within us. We have Jesus Christ that we can reach for and be happy. Be silent, you mountains, you fields and your fountains. It's our time to sing. It's our time to rejoice. It's our season to bless the Lord. Take a negative, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But he could preach all of that negative 
But he didn't preach a negative message. He turned around and told us about the love of Jesus Christ. The world today wants to tell you about all of their problems. How they just don't have no place to go. Have no place to turn to. I told somebody this week, they were telling me how, oh, I just don't really know what to do. I don't know where to go. I said, look, you've tried everything you possibly can try, but you won't try Jesus Christ. If you would just give him a try, try him one time, he would change your entire life. If they would just try him one time. The Bible says in Psalms 1, it walketh in the counsel of the ungodly. That's what the world is doing today. They're walking in the counsel of the ungodly. Every time they turn around, they're searching for the ungodly, the counsel. I'm not against lawyers. I'm not against attorneys. I'm not against all of those people that went to school. But those people can't give me any answers. All they want is your money in life. All they want is your time in life. They don't want nothing from you. They just want your time. But brother, if you would walk in the counsel of Jesus Christ, if you would walk in the counsel of a man of God that will teach you the right way to go, if you'll walk in the counsel of the godly, if you'll walk in the way, the next part of it says, nor standeth in the way of the sinner. Standeth in the way of the of sinners. That's not in the way. That's in their way. That's the way they do things. The world today is standing in that way. All they want to do is do it their way. They want to do it how they want to do it. What direction they want to go, however they seem to do it. The world don't care about me and you. I just went through a thing in my business to where they took almost $17,000 from me. Just told me that I, you're having to pay it. Doesn't really matter. You're taking it because yes. they took it from me. Yes. They didn't care. Don't they didn't care. I begged for forgiveness. I, I didn't do anything wrong to begin with, but I still begged for forgiveness. Please help me. Where am I going to get this kind of money? What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? They didn't care. They took me to a mediator. Mediator says, Does, I didn't get to go to court. I didn't even get to go before a judge. I went in a little room. They locked me in a room, sent me in a room, told me here's what you have to pay. I don't have that to pay. I don't know where I'm going to get that. Doesn't really matter. They're a cruel world. They don't really care about you. It makes no difference about you. They don't care about you. They're standing in the way of the sinner. And then they sit, nor sitteth, in the seat of the scornful. Every day you run into somebody that's scornful. They're bitter. They're bitter. World has turned them upside down. They have hurt them. They have messed them up. They have destroyed them. All they know is bitterness and wrath and anger. All they know is to turn it. All they know is to hate you. All they know is to just forget about you. They're scornful. They're hateful. Give me that next verse. Brain won't kick in here. But his delight. See, here's where we stand. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. There we are. That's you and me. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law, in that law, doth he meditate day and night. In that law, doth he meditate day and night. What's the next one? And he shall be like a tree. Planted by the See, there was three don'ts in that first verse, Brother Harrison. I don't know why I'm talking. I wouldn't even plan on going here. There's three don'ts in that. That's all the negative possible you can think of. All the negative you can think of. Counsel of the ungodly standing in the way of the sinners. Sitting in the seat of the scornful. But here we go. Here's one do right here. And he shall be like a tree. Planted. planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. When is our season? Now is our season. Now is our time to sing. Now is our season. Now it's for you and me. Now it's time for us to rejoice. Now it's time for us to look up. Now it's time for us to see. Now it's time for us to reach forward. Look to the hills which come
and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Brother, you can look at the scornful. You can look at the counsel of the ungodly. You can stand in the way of the sinner. But oh, it's my time. It's your time. And whatever we do, he's going to prosper it. It's time. The harvest is right, Pastor. We have a job to do. You have given us orders. You have given us orders. I have stood here to listen to my platoon sergeant tell me it's time to march. I've listened to my captain tell me it's time to march. The time is right. The time is right. Look, I spent three months on the USS Enterprise. I stayed there day and night. We didn't know when, we didn't know what, we didn't know anything. All we knew is we were stuck on a ship in the middle of the water somewhere. Amen. One morning, we were sleeping just as hard as we could sleep and the whistle went off and they began to screaming and hollering and we had about five minutes to grab our stuff and get on a bird because they were dumping us into Haiti in about 20 minutes we were going to be on the other side we didn't have much time to prepare yeah. we didn't have much time to think about it our stuff was already packed makes me think of the five wise and the five foolish Come on. how they were trimming their lamps the other one said we had plenty of time it's plenty of time plenty of time but oh there was five wise that already had their lamps trimmed already had their lamps ready and when the call was made there was a call at midnight that was made and ready all they had to do was strike it and light the ladders because it was time to go church it's time to go it's time to go the world is hungry the harvest is right the harvest is right the harvest is right there's people that need God and they just need me and you to tell them about Jesus Christ the harvest is right everywhere we go people will know that we belong to Jesus Christ because there will be an identity about you that will identify you as a Christian if you are struck by this it doesn't really matter I hate to keep referring to Brother Marlowe but you put him on an airplane automatically automatically people identify him as a minister of the gospel yes, sir, it doesn't really matter he can be sitting around 45 baseball players dressed up in the same uniform they were but there's something about you and i yes. that has a, yes. has a glow about us yeah, yeah. has something about us yeah. that's why an wow. angel yeah. of the lord I called my sister you because there was something special about it you have an identity as a Christian and when you begin to get out and let people know that we're Christians the Bible said for I am not ashamed it's a simple scripture we use it all the time for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation I'm not ashamed of the gospel tonight. Well, Adolph, you sing that song, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed, brother. I'm not ashamed to be affiliated with you. I'm not ashamed to be associated with you. I'm not ashamed to be any other way. I'm here tonight to tell you that I'm arm in arm. I'm in rank with you. I'm in the same rank you are. We're in rank. And when the captain gives the order, and at midnight when the cry is made, our lamps will already be trimmed and ready to go. There will be something ready for you and I when he makes his call, when he says come home. There ain't but one person knows when it's time to come home, and that's the Father in heaven. I 
I've been trying over the last couple of months to do things differently. I want to tell everybody if I'm, I mean, anybody that I come in contact with, if I think that I may have hurt them in any way, I want them to know that I'm sorry. I want them to know that I love them. I don't want no heart in my heart against you, Pastor. That's it, brother. Brother Ferris, I don't want no heart in my heart to get against you. On, the Bible said don't let the wrath, don't let the sun don't go, down. go down on your wrath. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know that we're to love one another. Yes, we're to love one another more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And more. Brother Billy, I don't know you, but I love you. I ain't ever met you before you walked in this door, but there's a kindred spirit. You might be a different color than me. You might have, but our blood still bleeds red, brother. It's still the same. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that washed us clean, made us whole. It was the cross of Calvary that tried to tell us all of that, but we know better. One of the most powerful scriptures in the Bible is what he read about how he hung the earth. Right. Oh, yeah. It's just hanging. Nothing. The human mind can't even fathom it. Can't even think about it. The smartest man with the highest IQ, the geniuses that live in the wherever they live, can't even fathom it. Can't even put it together how God created you and I. It boggles their mind why we're created and how we became created. Wasn't no Big Bang Theory. It was the loving hand of Jesus Christ. It was the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. It was the day star that shone down on us. It was the Christ, the King, the Son of the living God. I appreciate him tonight. Hello. I appreciate him. Yes. Don't you love him? I love him. Yeah. Don't you love him? Yeah. I know that's a normal yeah. statement around here, but I want you to know that I truly love him. I truly love him. Brother Jerry, I love you with all of my heart. I want to put my arms around you. Brother Raymond, I love you, brother. You're my bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. As the world looks upon you, let them identify you as a Christian. Let them identify you as a soldier in the army of the Lord. Let them identify you by where you go to church. Let them identify you by who you really are. Not by who they think you are. But who they really are. Yeah, come on. You know, a godly person that serves God can get around a bunch of ungodly people and he won't fit in. It'd be turning a, a kind of put a round peg in a square, That's a true. square peg in a round hole. That's it won't That's fit. It. You can't fit in this world. We don't belong in this world. We don't match with them. We don't join up with them. We have a God who cares. We got the day star looking down on us. He's looking on us tonight. I love you, church. Amen. I appreciate you. Amen. Appreciate what the Lord has done for us. I'm glad my parents came here many years ago. I'm glad they came. Where would I be? That's a truth, brother. Where? Oh, Brother Pope, if you'd have walked in there, Brother Martin would have said, I don't have time to talk to you. Where would you be today? That's right. <clears throat> but Jesus, but God. the lily of the valley, the day star, the one that shined in our heart, look down on me, look down on you. Brother Hank, the night my dad, they said my dad was gone, there was a day star shining down there that night. <laughs> The world said he was gone. But oh, there was a man of God that got down on his knees. Oh, yeah. 